The basic tool is used when you need to make simple measurements of color that do not need to be compared to other samples or print standards. Two basic tools are configured for you, the densitometer and the single C-Lab tools. First, we will look at the density tool. The density tool has some functions already configured for your use. To launch a function, you can swipe to it. Another way you can select a function is by using the Function Selection button. You will see a list of all the configured functions for this tool. Then, select your function. We will select Density first. Place the device on the patch and take a measurement. The display will update showing the density value here. A simulation of the color patch and the time it was measured will display here. The function type and setting will display here. You can also view this measurement under other functions. For example, if you also need to see all of the density values of the patch, you can swipe to that function or select it from the function list. Some functions will require multiple measurements. For example, with trapping, you will need to measure the paper and three ink patches. In order to measure trap, you will need to know your press ink sequence. The first measurement you will need to take is a paper measurement. Do this by tapping the paper icon in the upper left corner of the screen and then measuring a non-inked part of the press sheet. If you forget to do this first, a message will prompt you to take a paper measurement. This data is stored in the device. You only need to take a new measurement when you change paper. Next, read the patch that represents the first color printed, then the patch that represents the second color printed on top. Finally, you will measure the two-color overprint patch. Now you try. Using your exact to measure the density of the 100% cyan patch, take a look at your measurement using different functions, such as all densities. If you have an exact standard or exact advance, you can view other values such as LCH or L star, A star, B star. Next, select the trapping function. Identify the overprint that you want to measure and the first and second colors that are used to print that color. Measure the paper, the first ink, the second ink, and the overprint patches in the correct order. If you need help, review the video.